Hey guys, welcome to Travel Related. Trey recently went on a border run to the country of Myanmar so he could get his visa stamped for 30 more days in Thailand. This is a normal process for anyone moving to Thailand or planning on staying for an extended amount of time and you need to know what to do before you get there. Now a border run is different from a visa run and Trey's gonna explain all of that to you. Going on a border run is actually a really simple thing to do and although it might sound strange to go, cross the border, turn around and come right back, it's actually completely legal. The Thai government knows that people do it every day and it's just the way the laws are set up right now. Let's throw it over to Trey so he can explain all of it and make your life easier. I'm here between Myanmar and Thailand. There's Myanmar. There's Thailand. And I'm right here on this river, right in between the two. I just came from Thailand, went to Myanmar. Now I just uh, turned around, got stamped out of Myanmar. Now I'm about to go get stamped back into Thailand. So yeah, here we go. First, I want to clarify what a border run is because you also hear the term visa run a lot and there are some differences between the two. What I just did was a border run, meaning my visa and my 30-day extension had run out. I'd been here for three months, so now I have to leave the country. Now I have a new 30-day visa exemption stamp. The difference between that and a visa run is when you're making a visa run, you have to go to a Thai, you have to leave the country and go to a Thai consulate or embassy, and you're obtaining a new tourist visa. So usually for visa runs, you're flying out of the country. This time I went by road, and it is, known as the cheapest and easiest way to go through this process is just by going to Mae Sai. And you get stamped out of Thailand and it's 500 baht or 10 US dollars to enter Myanmar. When I was crossing back into Thailand, you get a departure and an arrival card. You need to fill out the arrival card because the two cards will be on the same piece of paper. And then they'll staple the departure card inside your passport. You'll need it when you leave Thailand to get stamped out. So hold on to that. Most people take buses, but I tried to book my tickets about five days before I left and they were all full. I'd recommend booking your tickets at least two weeks in advance. So I started looking online and some people were recommending this company called Red Ride Rentals. So when I talked to them, they said they'll set you up with a private driver. They'll pick you up at your hotel or your apartment or wherever you are. They'll take you to the border and pick you up when you get done and take you back. And on the way back, you can stop in Chiang Rai and see the, the White Temple, uh, which is what we did. It was really cool. So anyway, that's the company I went with. Uh, it was more expensive. For the bus, I want to say it was around a thousand baht for the day. To go with a private driver, it was 2,500 baht, but I really liked it. Um, instead of being on a crowded bus, I was in a private car, listened to an audiobook, watched some movies I had downloaded. If I do it again, I'll, I may try the bus, but honestly, I think this way was worth the extra money. We will leave a link to Red Ride Rentals in the description box below so you can check them out. Uh, the service was fantastic. They were really nice. I highly recommend them and I, I will use them again. So as of right now, I'm good for 30 days. At the end of 30 days, I'll go back to the immigration office and repeat the process that I did a month ago. If you haven't seen that video, we'll link it in the description below so you can see what you need to do to extend a Thai visa. Going this route, you're not allowed to stay as long, but it's really quick compared to the other methods and it's the cheapest way. So I really liked it. Sweet. 
Thanks, Trey. Hopefully that was just the information that you needed. Today's travel related question is, do you have any questions about the border or visa run process? If so, let us know in the comments below and we'd be happy to answer them for you. For more travel related content, make sure to hit subscribe and give us a like. Trey and I are blood related. But we can all be travel related. See you next time. Bye y'all.